Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Hannah. I do travel vlogs and also paw vlogs, videos about my dogs. Well, as you can see in the title, in this video, I will share to you how much did we spend for Cookie's emergency surgery for Pyometra. And first of all, what is Pyometra for dogs? But first, to understand more about Pyometra, you can also watch our previous POV vlog. I will put the link on Cookie's journey for her emergency surgery Pyometra. If you know my dog, Cookie, she is a small breed, a toy poodle. And if you already watched our previous POV vlogs, I will also link our previous POV vlog on the description down below. So kindly watch it first. She already had three cesarean sections. So you, yes, you heard it right. In which the last two was accidentally stabbed by my niece dog, it, which is also a toy poodle. But first, of course, we need to know what is pyometra. Baka nag tataka kayo kung ano yung pyometra kanina ko pa binabanggit. Well, according to my research and to Google, pyometra is a very serious infection of the womb or known as uterus. It is caused by bacterial infection, most commonly E. coli. So what is E. coli? E. coli or Escherichia. I don't know if I pronounce it properly. It is a bacteria which is normally lived in the intestines of a healthy people or animal. It is often occurs after a female has finished a season. So what are the symptoms of pyometra to dogs? Well, early signs may not be obvious, but your pet may be off to their food or feeling lethargic or very thirsty. Others have also discharge in their vagina, but not in all cases. Just like Cookie, if you already seen our previous vlog, we shared there that I left Cookie in our province with my mom, in which they didn't know that Cookie has already a serious condition. They are just assuming that Cookie is just always full because her tummy is big and kinda distended if you will observe it properly. But luckily, my boyfriend brought Cookie here with me for me to have a companion. And I really also miss Cookie. Then when they got here, usually she greeted me excitedly and wagged her tail. But not at that moment. So I just thought that maybe she is just tired of the 10 hour travel drive going here. But I already observed that her tummy is bigger than before. And she is always drinking a lot of water and feeling lethargic. And also no appetite at all. She's not even pooping and peeing regularly than before. So that is also the sign that Cookie has a pyometra. There are two types of pyometra. The first one is the open pyometra. It is when the cervix or the womb entrance is open. Meaning you are likely to see blood coming from your dog's vulva. And the second one is closed pyometra. It is when the womb entrance is shut, meaning you are unlikely to see a discharge. And Cookie has a closed pyometra because she is not having any discharge and causes the uterus only to get larger and larger. So after a few days, when Cookie arrived here with me, I started to worry because her situation is not normal. So we went to the nearest vet and explained everything. The radiograph in which it shows there's a lot of fluid in Cookie's stomach. So they also gave her a medicine to urinate. They also blood test Cookie, the CBC, and also the Erclia test kit in which she is positive of oh, blood no. parasite. And they also deworm her as well. And that is also dated last August 10, 2022. In which I paid around 5,300 pesos already. In which it includes the doctor's fee, the CBC, the blood test, all the medicine, and also the Erclia test kit. 
After that, we went home and then after five days, there are no improvement at all. Her tummy is still big and distended. That is why we went back to the vet. And they honestly said that we need to go to a bigger veterinary hospital for Cookie to have an ultrasound. Well, at least they are honest that they cannot treat her there. So same day, we went to a bigger animal veterinary hospital and the doctor checked Cookie, performed ultrasound and another blood test which is the CBC. When the results came, Cookie is positive of closed pyometra in which they need to have an oh, emergency no. surgery for Cookie to have a greater chance of survival. So I just trusted the doctor in which the one who handled Cookie and prayed everything to God for Cookie's surgery. And after 15 to 30 minutes, the staff receptionist of the veterinary hospital texted me that the surgery is already done and went well. In which I need to pay first the installment in which the spay pyometra procedure itself cost around 8,500 plus the anesthesia, the doctor's fee, CBC, the medicine of Cookie, and Cookie's first confinement. Since she need to be confined for a few days and they need to observe her. On that day only, August 15, 2022, it already cost us around, you guess guys, so it already cost us around 13,500 pesos. And then August 17, 2022, they performed another CBC for Cookie to check if Cookie is improving or not. And take note, our bill is also running. So from 13,500, it is already 20,350, which includes the succeeding confinement days and also the surgery vet monitor. Cookie was confined for three days. And I just want to be transparent to you guys. That is why I want to share how much we paid all in all in that specific veterinary hospital. So August 18, 2022, we can finally take Cookie home after her surgery. Our billing, which is good for three days only, which includes everything like the professional fee, the five CBC tests, the spay pyometra procedure, the anesthesia blood transfusion, ultrasound, and additional medicine, and the food of Cookie while she was confined, and also the succeeding confinement days, and also the surgery vet monitor. So are you ready guys to know how much we spent? on that specific veterinary hospital. So guess what? So we paid exactly around 31,145 pesos. Yes, it is very expensive. It is priceless because Cookie is safe now and alive. That is why for you, for parents, if you are watching this, I suggest for you to have an emergency fund for your fur babies or for you to have a separate savings for any emergency purposes like this. Then after seven days, the follow-up checkup of Cookie, they removed half of her suture in which it cost again 1095 in which it also includes the professional fee, the wound cream, the betadine, and also the medicine cream. And then August 28, 2022, another follow-up checkup of Cookie, they removed already all the sutures in which it cost around 1050 pesos. So for the month of August 2022 only, I spent already around 38,590, so less than 40,000 pesos for cookie only. Again, in my opinion, I also said this to my previous Paul vlog. If you don't have any plan for your female dog to get pregnant and to breed or stud anymore, it is much better to get them spayed to prevent them from having pyometra. But of course, get them checked first and consult a veterinary doctor. This is only based on my experience as a fur mom. 
But still, thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. If you learn something or if you know someone whose dog has the same case with Pyometra or if you want to know more about dogs and Pyometra, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye! Ciao! So this is Cookie right now. Nagpagroom siya the other day. That is why semi-kalbo po siya. So, yung scar niya is eto na po. So, yan na po yung scar niya. Hindi na masyadong halata. Yan. Please like and subscribe. Bye! Bye!